Yes, this video is just a very short video. It, uh, this video was filmed when my brother was arrested uh, in front of his small daughter. She is three years old. The Polish is inside. UN hears case of Azerbaijani political prisoner jailed in front of his three-year-old daughter. The United Nations has heard the case of jailed Azerbaijani journalist, the director of Channel 13, Aziz Orojov, who was detained on politically motivated charges last year in front of his three-year-old daughter. The hearings were heard in Geneva on June the 26th on the sidelines of the UN Human Rights Council's 56th session that discussed limitation of freedom of speech in Azerbaijan and crackdown on media ahead of COP29 UN Climate Change Conference to be held in the Azerbaijani capital Baku in November. Addressing the session, Channel 13 founder Anar Orojov spoke about persecution of media representatives in Azerbaijan. He shared the video of the detention of his brother Aziz Orojov, who is the director and co-founder of Channel 13. The video showed the heartfelt scene of Orojov being detained in his apartment in Baku while his three-year-old daughter is crying and asking her father not to leave her. Aziz Orojov was detained on November the 28th last year and held in pre-trial detention since then. Anar Orojov said that apart from his brother, two more journalists of Channel 13 were arrested last year and their pre-trial detention period has recently been extended for another three years. Following the arrests, Baku City Court also made a decision to block Channel 13 in the territory of Azerbaijan. Furthermore, Orojov said the government restricted his 75-year-old mother's bank card, preventing her from receiving her pension reminding that Azerbaijan has over 20 jailed journalists and 300 political prisoners. Anar Orojov urged UN member states to use effective methods to urge the Azerbaijani government to improve the human rights situation in the country ahead of COP29. If human rights defenders and independent journalists are in jail in Azerbaijan, if there is no respect for human rights, then there is no meaning to hold this event in Azerbaijan, Orojov said. The session was attended by Azerbaijani media organizations whose members are in jail. A lawyer from online media outlet Toplam TV, Samad Rahimli, together with Orojov, spoke about detention of their colleagues under trumped-up charges. The hearing was organized by Azerbaijani NGOs based in Europe, the Institute for Reporters' Freedom, as well as the Safety and Human Rights Institute. The meeting discussed the mass jailing of Azerbaijani journalists in recent months and the crackdown on free speech in the country. It was stressed that these repressive measures are part of systematic measures to stifle dissent and control the flow of information in the country. Yeah, um, as my uh, colleague Samad Rahman already told that uh, the general situation about the media crackdown, crackdown of society in Azerbaijan, I would like also to give example of channel 13 which I am presenting here uh, this person is my brother maybe you don't see his uh, photo correctly but uh, this is actually the second uh, arrest of Aziz Orojov for his journalism activity during the last six years channel 13 is one of the first and biggest online channels in Azerbaijan we started this channel in 2008 and always we were under the strong pressures of the government. So, just after several years uh, founding of this TV, I had to leave Azerbaijan since 10 years, more than 10 years, uh, I've been living in Germany. And after uh, which I left Azerbaijan, my brother he stayed in Azerbaijan and he always uh, was under the pressure of the government. And uh, he was arrested first time in 2017 uh, with the box charts, with fabricated charts again. And when Azerbaijan government started to make new pressures against uh, independent media, civil society representatives, then Channel 13 uh, has two other media outlets like uh, Topun TV and Outlast Media was one of the target of the government. And uh, unfortunately, uh, a difference unlike the arrest of the journalists in Azerbaijan more than 20 journalists are in prison right now just after after the November of last year uh, this specific, to make specific target this three media outlets including channel 13 that 
not only one journalist from our teams are in prison right now. When my brother was arrested, as his brother was arrested in uh, 28th of November last year, just after three days of him, the one more moderator of uh, our TV channel, the daily political shows moderator, was arrested. Ten days after his arrest, Baku City Court made a decision for blocking Channel 13 in the territory of the Hazardian Republic. Just after several days, one more journalist of our team was arrested. So right now, uh, we have two journalists in prison and they are pre-trial detention period. Yesterday, pre-trial detention period was extended for more three months. They are already uh, seven months in prison and according to yesterday's decision, they will stay there three more months and it will be hopefully that uh, at the end of this period, the case will be sent to the court. It will not, not prolong it again. So all this, uh, as uh, Samad Rahim told here, uh, all these charts, all these accusations against the journalists, they are fabricated. They are all uh, about the money smuggling, like we got the donor support outside the Azerbaijan and use this money inside the Azerbaijan and provide this money to the Azerbaijan with illegal ways. So what happened in fact? As a Channel 13, we don't work with the many international donor organizations. So we are self-funding organization because we have two YouTube channels. One of them is in English language, Channel 13 Global. The second one is in Azerbaijan language, Channel 13 News. And we mainly uh, stay on outfits uh, to have to, to make money from YouTube. And the method which Azerbaijan government uses for accusation of my brother and other team members was that for example, the car dealers from Azerbaijan, they are coming to Germany. Uh, of course, they have interest to get some money inside of Germany to buy cars. And then they say that, okay, if you give me 2,000 euros, I will provide inside of Azerbaijan to your family. And according to official charge, uh, Channel 13 during the last four years get nine. 90,000 manas, which are about the 50,000 euros uh, from the donor organizations, and that's why two members of Channel 13 are in prison right now, and all other members of uh, the channel, uh, team members, they are on the travel ban, and the bank accounts are all frozen. This is the one part of the pressure. The second part related with the family members. My mother is 75 years old, and when my brother was arrested, He's, he's retired, she's retired. His bank cards was blocked. So she was not able to get his retirement pension, his pension, her pension from the uh, ATMs. And the cars, the all of that which belongs to our family, they also was not confiscated, but they are under arrest right now. So what we'd like to, to discuss, to ask the international community as you know, this COP29 is going to be held in Azerbaijan, and we think that this is one of the unique opportunities to push the Azerbaijan government, to urge the Azerbaijan government, I don't know, maybe to, uh, to find some ways to help with the Azerbaijan government in order to, to get released to these arrested journalists. Because we think that if international community is not going to use these methods uh, against the Azerbaijan government, which is doing as a authorities, which is doing to, which is increasing the this pressures year by year, even the month by month, and week and week by week during the last several months, this these pressures will not be stopped. And we think that uh, if we miss this corporate line chance, which is the biggest event of this year, most probably, and uh, it will be very hard to release these journalists, which is the number of them. Uh, more than 20, and overall the number of political prisoners is more than 300 in Azerbaijan. So we would like to ask you to ask the old member states of UN who is going to have the some negotiations with the Azerbaijan government in order for holding this uh, COP29 to, to use effective methods how to get uh, improving of human rights situation of Azerbaijan. Because the climate change is also the human kind, yes. We're going to stop the climate change because of human kind. The people is in arrest in Azerbaijan uh, 
uh, if the human rights defenders, if the uh, independent journalists, if independent NGO representatives are in prison in Azerbaijan, then, then, then there is no the meaning to hold this, uh, this uh, event, this big event inside of Azerbaijan, if there is no any respect to the human rights in this country. Thank you very much. Uh, well, we will put a video, uh, you can comment it. Yes, this video is just a very short video. It, uh, this video was filmed when my brother was arrested uh, in front of his small daughter. She is three years old. The police is inside. Go, get her here, get her here. Kuzum, koy doktora geçsin gelsin. Kuzum, gel dur ya. Ana dur, gel. Kuzum, gel dur ya. Mati, doktora geçsin gelsin sonuçta. Ayşe sabahlasın. That was the moment when my brother was arrested. And his three years old small daughter tried to keep her father from the arrest.